What is going on everyone? We are back in our Raiders franchise. It is week two. We're taking on the Houston Texans on the road. We got the win in week one. This is the fifth season of the series, the fifth and final series. As we get this one going, we'll have the ball first. First and ten, Chase Moss looking, and we're going to connect Amari Cooper down the field just outside the 30 to 32, 23 yards on the first connection of the game. Now first and ten, we're going to go with our first run of the game. It's going to be Darren Ellison. He's got a first down as he's going to go over a couple defenders down to the 19 yard line now second and 10 as we try to make this a quick drive from the 19 yard line it's going to be ellis on the ground moss the handoff and ellis sweeping out to the left he's cutting it back down the middle of the field and he is going to be down at the 12 picks up seven yards on the play now third and three here from the seven or excuse me the 12 it's going to be moss throwing and he's going to find brandon cooks and he's going to fall into the end zone for the touchdown and we will take an early seven to nothing lead texans with the ball now as it's going to be second and seven for them on this first possession from the 23. It's Griffin, and he is going to throw, and he's going to find his tight end, Espinosa, and he's going to stay up, finally walks out of bounds at the 48. A nice big pickup there from the Texans on their first pass completion. Now second and seven, it's Dwayne Bow in motion, and it's going to be a throw from Griffin. He's got to throw it quickly. He is going to find Bow, but it's just going to be a minor pickup there as it's now going to be third and four from the 46-yard line midway through this first quarter. Griffin and the Texans looking to keep the drive alive, and they will. DeAndre Hopkins with the catch. He's down to the 30-yard line as Griffin 3-for-3, three 43 three yards here in this first quarter. Now first and 10, Griffin's under center. He's going to hand off to his running back. It's green, and he's got a block, and he is down the field. The juke move, not very effective as Clinton Dix will take him down at the 16, but the Texans another first down here, and that is where we are at from the 16-yard line. It's Griffin dropping back to quick throw. He's going to find his tight end again. Takes a big hit, but he's down to the 5-yard line. Griffin's still perfect. And another first down for the Texans. First and goal here. It's Griffin. The play action. He's looking. He's got time. He's going to throw, and he's going to have a touchdown. Walker, the backup tight end, is in. And the Texans with an immediate response as it'll be 7-7. 406 remaining in the first quarter as we take back over here. First and 10. It's going to be Chase Moss. He is to his right looking. We got to get rid of it here. We got to get rid of it. Tried to get rid of it. Cannot do it in time, though. And Barkevius Mingo with the sack. It's now second and 24. So coming back here, we're going to try halfback screen as it's going to be Ellis taking it. Can we get the block we need? Not really. We do pick up some of those yards back as it's going to be third and 16 now from 13 as we try to keep this drive from going three and out, and that is not going to do it. Cooper gave a good effort there, nearly brought it in, but that's going to fall incomplete, and that is going to be a three and out. Texans back with the ball. 2.37 to go in the first quarter. It's going to be Griffin, and he is going to connect Dwayne Bow with another reception. He's out to the 48, and Griffin still a perfect six for six here to start this game. First and 10 now, under two minutes to go in this first quarter. It's a play action here as Griffin looking, looking downfield, and he's got a wide open receiver, Hopkins. How does DeAndre Hopkins end up that open? That is bad, bad defense on our part. Third and eight, though, as this will be the final play of the first quarter. It's Griffin looking to keep this drive going, but he will not a sack, a key sack coming in from Florence, the second-year defensive end, and the Texans will get a field goal. So we're into the second quarter now. It's a 7-10 game. Chase Moss going to face pressure, and he is going to go down. Mingo again. It's only going to say one sack, but that's his second of the game. Second and 17 now. We're going to step up, and here is how you step up. Amari Cooper key key catch there as that will keep the drive going first and 10 now from the 45 it's a handoff Ellis a big hole up the middle and he's going to find a first down out across the 50 to the 42 he's got 33 yards but only four carries for him so far in this first half now second and eight it's going to be Moss throwing it once again and he's going to find Cooper in the flat he'll pick up the first down as he's down to the 30 yard line Moss 7 of 9 for 88 yards in this first half now first and 10 it's going to be Chase Moss throwing again and this one Funches able to reach back there get that one poor throw but a nice catch there from Devin Funches. So second and one from the 21. It's going to be a halfback screen. It's going to be Ellis. Can we get the blocks this time? Yes, we can. Ellis, can he get it to the end zone? No, he's going to be knocked out at the five-yard line. And that is where we find ourselves here. First and goal from the five. Moss looking to end the drive, and he will. Lucas Jackson, the tight end, catches it as he goes down, but it's a touchdown, and we will retake the lead. And that's actually going to be the score going into halftime, 14-10. to 10. A nice first half there from both teams. Uh, the defense can play a little bit better. They're going to need to play a little bit better here in this second second half as the Texans will get the ball first looking to retake the lead once again it's Griffin the handoff to Green he's going to break one tackle but not the second one upended there by Ha Ha Clinton Dix now second and seven from the 37 it's going to be Griffin dropping back the quick throw and that one is going to be pass interference and after the nice play from Dix that's going to be a bad one as he gets called for pass interference so now second and 11 
The Texans have it at the 48-yard line. It's going to be green, and he's going to break another tackle as this guy, a tough runner there, hard to bring down. Third and two now from the 43-yard line as it's going to be Griffin shotgun. He's dropping back. He's looking. Another throw here, going to find right, and he is going to fight for a couple extra yards there. Down to the 36 as Griffin 118 yards passing now. Second and seven. Seven minutes to go in this third quarter as the Texans putting together a nice drive here to start this third quarter. It's going to be green off to the edge, and he is going to get another first down, down to the 26. He has 69 yards rushing. First and 10 now, it's Griffin, play action, facing pressure, Khalil Mack, hello Khalil Mack, the sack for Mack, as that will set up a third and long play here from the 30, it's Griffin dropping back, looking, throwing, and he's going to complete it, DeAndre Hopkins, you got to be kidding me, this guy having a game, the Texans pick up the first down, so now first and 10 for the 15, it's Griffin, dropping back, looking to the end zone, nope, going to be short, but Hopkins takes it, nearly gets in, but he's down at the one, this guy tearing apart our secondary, now first and goal, I formation, Paul comes in motion, green in the backfield, he's going to get it, and he is going to find the end zone, and the Texans will start the third quarter by retaking the lead, we have it back now, 331 to go in the third quarter, Moss looking for a big play, and he's going to find it, Devin Funch is down the middle of the field, wide open, nice find there from Moss, 157 yards passing for him now in this game, second and nine, it's going to be Moss, halfback screen, it's been working pretty well here, let's see if it works again, as Ellis is going to get tripped up, that could have been been a big pickup there but he gets tripped up and actually doesn't pick up the first down either so third and inches this is a big play here as it's going to be a toss to Ellis Cooper going to come down in motion and it's going to be Ellis looking for the edge but we cannot get it no and we actually lose a little bit it's going to be fourth and one how do we not pick up that first down and we will get the field goal so we tie the game but 17 to 17 last play of the third quarter here Espinosa and look at this breaks two tackles and look at the blocks key blocks there Mack going to dive but he missed and Espinosa on a simple, simple screen route is going to go all the way to the end zone for the touchdown, and that is not a good look for our defense. The Texans now 24 to 17 in the lead. We have got to come back here. Flag on the play. I'm just going to assume that is holding, as we are going to find Lucas Jackson. He's going to have a big pickup here, but I just feel it. That's got to be holding there, and it will end up being holding. So instead, we're back second and 19 now from the 22. You got to be kidding me. We got to step up here. We need a big play. It's going to be Moss looking, and he has got a lot of time to throw here, and we are going to find somebody. It's Amari Cooper, and he's He's going to get down close to the first down. We get all of those yards and more picked back up, but it's going to be third and one as Murray in the backfield. Now, can we pick this one up? Yes, we can. Latavius Murray going to pick up six yards on this play. So now first and 10, 835 remaining in the game. We need a score here dearly as Moss dropping back, looking downfield. We have someone in the middle of the field. It's Devin Funches. He has been doing really well in the slot there in the middle of the field, getting open quite a bit. Now first and 10 from the 32. We're in field goal range, but we need a touchdown, and it's going to be a catch from Steffens. First time we've called his name after his amazing debut last week. Now second and one. Ellis looking for the first down. He's going to pick up the spin move. That's going to help out a ton. 10 yards for Darren Ellis, but he's only got 51 yards, just 10 carries for him in this game. Second and seven now. It's Latavius Murray in the game. He's going to get the carry up the middle, looking for the end zone. Murray close to the first down, down at the two, but a little bit short, so third and inches. We are looking for the touchdown here to tie it. It's Latavius Murray, Cooks in motion. He's going to take the pitch, and he should have it. Yes, he does. Latavius Murray will tie the game 24-24. As the Texans take back over, 4.30 to go in the game, second and 11, it's going to be Griffin. He's throwing and he's got an open Espinosa. This tight end, what a game for this guy. 250 yards passing for Griffin, a nice game from him as well. But second and 12 here as the clock ticking, going to be under three minutes here after this play. It's Griffin, he's throwing, and he is. That one could have been intercepted. Irvin with the defense, nice knockdown there. So third and 12, can the defense get a stop? We haven't really had one all day. Griffin dropping back, flag on the play. What's this going to be for? Is that is going to be too green? It's going to be short. Is this on the offense? And it is going to be holding on the offense, so we will decline the penalty. We'll get the ball back, and now we have our shot to win this game. First and 10 from the 23. It's Moss. We're going to fake it. We're actually going to go right there. Two cooks as he's open, and he can't make anything happen there. And he is hurt at the end of the play. 
I believe he will be back, though, in a little bit. Second and seven now from the 26. I formation. This is going to be a play action here as Moss dropping back. Looking, facing pressure. We've got to get rid of it. But no, he's going to throw an interception. Mingo was there in the zone. The rush forced us to make that throw a little bit too quick. We don't see the defender. We throw the pick. And now the Texans with a chance to win this one. Third and four. We've called two timeouts. And that will be our third. The Texans will kick the field goal. And now we have 133, no timeouts to come back and win this game. Moss going to throw, no, going to be hit as he throws second and two, That's or second and ten. Now going to be third and ten as we need a huge drive. Moss going to make some adjustments here. Third and ten, we got to pick this one up. Moss dropping back, looking, looking, throwing across the middle. He's got Brendan Cooks, and he's going to have the first down. we got to go, no huddle now, no timeouts, no chance to stop the clock as it's clicking here under 115. Moss snapping it. And he is going to look. We have a lot of room, a lot of time, and it's going to be incomplete, but a flag on the play. That'll be defensive pass interference. So the clock is stopped, and we have a new set of downs as it's going to be Moss throwing, and we're going to find Taven Austin. His first catch of the game dances down the sideline out at the 29. Huge pick up there as we're now in field goal range, but we're looking for the win here. Second and seven. It's Moss looking. We've got someone open there on the edge. It's Jackson, and he's trying to get out of bounds, but he's not going to get out in time. The clock continuing to go under, going to be under 30 seconds as we're going to throw it here, and here we hit the wrong button. I didn't want that receiver. Tavon Austin stays in bounds. We barely pick anything up, so we've got to hurry here. 15 seconds in ticking. Moss do something. We can run it here. Can we get the end zone? Chase Moss running for it. Has the block, but Stephens can't hold it. He fumbles it out of bounds, but we're down at the two. So we have one more shot. Can we get the touchdown? I'm going to go with a pitch to Murray, and we got to be smart here as can we get the edge? Can we get it? No, I'm just going to run out of bounds. We'll run out of bounds. Five seconds remaining. We're kicking the field goal, and we are heading to overtime. How is this for a week two matchup as we'll head to overtime? Let's see the toss here. As if we can get the toss, I think we've got a shot at winning this one as we are going to call tails, but it is heads, and we do not win the toss. The Texans will get the ball first. They elect to receive, and no win either way. doesn't matter which way we defend, but here we go, second and two in overtime. Now it is going to be Griffin. He hands it off to Green. Green has a lot of room up this left side, and he is going to be taken down at the 43-97 yards for Green on the game. Now second and four from the 48-yard line. It's eye formation play action here. Griffin is dropping back. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to let one go, and he is going to find DeAndre Hopkins. He's got the catch. They've got the touchdown, and they have the win. We get stunned in week two. We lose it 33-27, to and this is not how I saw week two going. Kyle Griffin, what a game, 20 of 23. 316 yards, 86 completion percentage. Chase Moss, 22 of 28 for 272. Two touchdowns for him, but the one pick, a big one. That probably cost us the game. Uh, Griffin, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Lorenzo Green, 29, 22 carries for 97 yards. Ellis, just 12 for 66. He did not have a lot of opportunities today. Latavius Murray did pick up a touchdown. The uh, receivers for the Texans, very good. Espinosa, 129 yards and a touchdown. Hopkins, 128 and a touchdown. Devin Funches leads our Raiders with 78 yards. Amari Cooper with 70. Dwayne Bowe going to end up with 40. Ellis with 35. Uh, Austin uh, Cooks is going to have 3 for 31 and a touchdown. And Austin with 23. Matthew can lead everyone with 10 tackles. Two tackles for loss for Irvin. One for Smith. Mingo, one and a half sacks. Florence, one. Mack, one in Watt with half a sack. And then the interception, Barkevious Mingo. What a pick. A timely pick that was. And huge helping the Texans get that win. So uh, we are one and one. We move on to week three. Now, I did not really expect us to lose a game this soon. So uh, with the timing of all of this, I think at this point, since... Uh, I thought maybe we had a shot at maybe we'd have an undefeated season because I thought this team was pretty good, so I thought we'd try to play a lot of these games out. But you know what? The fact that we lost at this point and with the timing of Madden 17 coming out this week, actually when I release this, the game might be out today or it'll be released tomorrow. I think I'm going to stop here. This is where I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. There's no way we're going to – I just don't have the time to be able to play through with starting the new Madden 17 franchise. So I'm going to simulate through the regular season. If we make the playoffs, I will play through all of those games. Uh, I hope we make the playoffs. But honestly, at this point, maybe we won't. So I'm going to simulate through. You'll see that video next time. And then we'll finish out the series, whether that be playing through the playoffs or if we don't make the playoffs, I'll do a final series in review where we will take a look at this season, how everybody did, and maybe I'll go a couple extra seasons in the future just to see how they do because this team, yeah, I'm interested in this team. We spent five seasons building this team. Uh, you got some connections, obviously, to some of these players, so we want to see maybe how they do. So that's what's coming in the future. 
That's it for this video, though. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.